guy to cut with the thing and the arm. And we've also got the arm lock, which is the other half of the equation. We can spend a whole class doing the arm lock from here, actually. But, so sometimes from here, when the guy's defending with this, he's grabbing my wrist. By the way, he grabs my wrist. I didn't seem to get it in there. Okay? When he grabs my thumb, it's a problem. Okay? Watch this now. I'm going to pull to me like I'm pulling to there. He lets go, I'll come back in. Okay? So usually hold on. Hold on. I take my leg over and pull it out. And I can go for arm lock or choke now. And now he's something that's on choke. It's worse for me. Okay? But what's happening is this. I'm using this muscle, my entire body, my lat, my bicep. This is his rotator cuff. It's not that strong. So even if he's stronger than me, it's, it's, very, it's very hard. Yeah, he, 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 if he lets go, I'm back in again. Don't worry. It's not a big problem. Okay? Hold on. Pull to you. He's resisting. You can't, you can't go past that point. Take your foot out. Go all the way over. To take your arm out at the last second. Okay? Now, inside. Again, puts his chin down, same thing. Oh, okay. Last thing too, while you're keeping like limp your wrist, keep your wrist strong, feel your wrist curl at the same time, makes it more effective. Okay. So, defending, can't get him. Pull your arm straight with my elbow to my body, see? <laughs> take it out, replace it, take it out, and it usually just happens like that. It's really easy to set. Okay? And from here as well, we have a great arm. Okay. But I'll be next. Okay? One more time. <coughs> This is a, in the midpoint of doing the arm lock and the choke. It's kind of cool. You can do either one from the situation, okay? You pull, just pull to yourself. Take your leg out, all the way over, pull it up. Choke. Okay? Nice way to get the arm in a bad situation if you want. Okay, try it. Ready? Ha, ha, ha.